Today, we are reading about the execution of Sika Schneider, as written in Thielmann von Bratz's 1660 Martyr's Mirror. This execution has to be one of the most important and impactful martyrdom stories in the Radical Reformation and in the history of Anabaptism. Why? Well, for one, it's the first execution of an Anabaptist in the Netherlands. But more importantly, it's because Snyder's execution was so despicable and so grotesque that his execution was reported about far and wide. And a Catholic priest by the name of Menno Simons hears this report about a man being executed for the crime of being rebaptized in a believer's baptism, and this probes Menno enough to begin questioning infant baptism altogether by searching the scriptures. And in a few years, Menno Simons will then leave the Catholic priesthood and will take leadership over much of the Dutch Anabaptist movement and become known as the founder of the Mennonites. So this execution is very important because it will set many things into motion. I have included Menno Simons' writings reflecting back on this event at the end of the video. Before we start, we should note that the Martyr's Mirror incorrectly states that this martyrdom happened in 1533, but it actually occurred in 1531. We are starting at the bottom of page 441 with the subtitle Sika Snyder, AD 1533. About the year 1533, there was another pious hero and follower of Jesus named Sika Snyder, who, according to the counsel of the Holy Ghost, separated from the Babylonian whore and all her false, self-invented, imaginary worship, which was all contrary to God, and accepted Jesus Christ, seeking to follow the unblameable footsteps of this true lawgiver, and to hear only his voice as contained in the Holy Scriptures. Therefore he obediently submitted to the example and ordinance of Christ, and in accordance with the doctrines of his word, received Christian baptism upon his faith, as a sign of a regenerated child of God, seeking thus to live and walk in obedience towards his Creator. For this reason he was put into bonds and in prison at Leowarden in Friesland, and had to suffer much from the enemies of the truth. And as he could by no tortures be induced to apostatize, he was executed with the sword at said place, enduring it with the great steadfastness, thus attesting and confirming the true faith with his death and blood. Hence he shall, as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, together with all true conquerors, be clothed in white, shining raiment, and inherit the blessing. When reflecting back on this event in his Catholic priesthood office, Menno wrote, Quote, afterwards it happened, before I had ever heard of the existence of brethren, that a God-fearing, pious hero named Sika Snyder was beheaded at Lewinwarden for being rebaptized. It sounded very strange to me to hear of a second baptism. I examined the scriptures diligently and pondered them earnestly, but could find no report of infant baptism. Menno then tried to find out why others supported infant baptism. He read Martin Luther, the ancient Christian authors like Cyprian, and other contemporary reformers, but he found that they all cited their own wisdom for their support of infant baptism, and they were not citing the scripture, which was becoming Menno's ultimate authority. Menno Simons wrote, When I noticed from all these that writers varied so greatly among themselves, each following his own wisdom, then I realized that we were deceived in regard to infant baptism. If you would like to have a copy of this book to read or just to have on your coffee table for a conversation starter, you can use my Amazon link down in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting this work on Patreon, where you can reach out to me and where all the videos are uploaded ad-free. Whether you pledge $1 or $10 or whatever you can spare, it all does help cover the costs that go into making these videos.